Hi there, Chris Fox here. I'm in Evanston in room at number six. And uh, we're going to replace this window that I was talking about. Uh, last time I talked about it, Ted uh, Wakeford had put it, that I mentioned that Ted Wakeford put this window brand new in in Orangeville and a day later, hoodlums came along and smashed the outer pane. So we have glass for this one. So I'll prep this one and redo this one here while we're still waiting for glass in the sections down in sections one and two. So this uh, we'll be able to we'll be able to take this out. So to take these windows out of a Pullman standard, you have to take sash apart. As you can see, I've already done that here, and you have to take the runners off for the, the blinds, which sit in here. And once you've taken that off, now you have a unit and it comes out as a unit. I've taken most of the screws out as it is. I have a couple left. So I have that screw there, and I have that screw right there. So we'll take those out, and then I'll show you how the window comes out. Um, if I can put this thing on a, basically a tripod, I'll see what I can do. But uh, yeah, a little bit more later. Okay, so I've taken the other two screws out, and now we're gonna remove the window. So to remove the window, grab it from the top and you give it a bit of a pry out and it should come out nice and easy which this one was put in not that long ago so it should fold it back towards you and then you lift it out okay and you can see the exterior rubber is right there i'll show you about that after so let's get the window out of the way the window down there and now you can see here this is your water seal now these cars these Pullman standard cars are known for their leakage and their their uh, nickname of rust buckets but we have new rubber, so I'm going to replace this rubber here, and we'll get some, I have new, so we might as well replace it with new. This one's not that bad, but still. So you find the brake in it, which is right here, and you pull it out, nice and gently, nice and gently, you pull the window rubber out. Comes out a lot easier and goes back in. Okay, and you can put the window rubber aside for now. And we can see what we're in against here. And we still have some rust in here that I will clean up. And I'll prep this because all that should be nice and clean in there too. Those are your vents for your heat to keep your window from frosting up when it's going down the track. So that's all down in here. So we'll get the vacuum, we'll clean this all up, and then uh, we'll come back a little bit later. Alrighty. Okay, so I have this window prepped now. It's been vacuumed, wire wheeled, acid etched and then use brake cleaner fluid over it and you can see I can get some light here you can see how we do have a bit of a rust problem down in the corner here now it hasn't gone through and it's not too bad but it's getting there but hopefully the rust abatement that I have it won't make it go any farther than what it is. I don't really want to have to rip that apart being that it's already been painted and put back together. So I'm okay with living with it, but that's the roughest spot in this window right now. And you can see here, as long as no more water gets into it, we should be, should be okay. 
can see here, it's, the top end is pretty good. So, we'll, uh, we'll go with it. I mean, if anything, I'll be the one taking it apart in the future anyways, but it's interesting that you can see how Pullman Standard has used star screws in the sash all the way along here. Those aren't rivets, those are old star screws. And, and uh, to put that together, it's quite interesting. Anyways, okay, so we'll prep it now, and now we'll use um, the uh, POR15 on this. Okay, so now I have finished the POR15 rust preventative coating. And what this will do is it will dry to a very hard non, oh, sorry very hard non-porous um, coating which will stop the rust or prevent it from coming back and you can see I've got it really kicked in there pretty good which is good so that will take about 24 hours to dry once that's dried, then we can go to another step here, which is to put butyl tape along the runners and all along the edge where the window sits so that I'm not very good at following my finger, am I? Anyway, yeah, so that's where that's gonna go right there. So after that's all after that's all done, then we can install the window. Put the window rubber in and then install the window. So once I once this dries, then I'll take uh, take another video. Alright, more later.